Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be about how you can run Windows 11 on your PC without even downloading it. Now this is pretty cool because if you don't want to download Windows 11 on your PC and you want to wait for all the bugs to be fixed or if you just don't want to download Windows 11 just yet, this is the perfect thing for you. So all you need to do is go down to the link below in the description and just click it. Once you go to that, you're going to be greeted to this page and that's pretty much it. You have Windows 11 uh, running and that's pretty much it. It's not the full version. This is like a virtual box, something similar to VMware running on your browser. But yeah, as you can see, everything works perfectly fine right here. You have your calendar, pretty smooth too. You have your uh, new control panel here, which is pretty cool. You also have some of your apps down here now. Not all of them work, but some of them work like your start menu right here and your search menu, your news, your settings does not work. Your file explorer is coming soon. This is still in development, so it is still being worked on. You do have the new Windows Store right here, so you can take a look at them. I'm not sure if the Android apps work just yet, but this is pretty cool to see even if you don't have Windows 11 installed. You have Spotify too, but that's nothing new, but it's pretty cool that you have all this on your uh, laptop right here. Don't know if it actually works. Yeah, File Explorer doesn't work. I thought it works, but no. Nah. Uh, yeah, as you can see, everything is cool. You have your new menu right here when you right click. What about Open Terminal? Yeah, Open Terminal is also pretty cool. Everything in Windows 11 seems a lot more minimalistic. But um, yeah, I actually had Windows 11 on my uh, laptop for like a day and I reverted back to Windows 10 the next day just because most of my apps and programs were not compatible with windows 11 so just reverted back to windows 10 but yeah i'm going to be making a video on the five things i love and hate about windows 11 because i did reinstall it after that to get a feel of how windows 11 was but yeah stay tuned for that video and also stay tuned for the next video where i'm going to be making a review video on the mic i'm using right now as you can see it's pretty good so yeah stay tuned for that video but other than that guys subscribe with notifications on stay tuned peace